It's finally here, the tutorial that many of you ask me. I'm so excited to be sharing this. Today you will learn the simple yet super effective Facebook ad strategy. It works for small budgets, it works for big budgets, it has been tested in many different niches with different products starting e-com, digital products, coaching and so on. It has been tested after the iOS update. And this strategy has been working incredibly well for years. There are so many strategies on YouTube and I've tried most of them. They seem too complicated and they do not achieve any results. I try them, but I would always come back to my simple, but this effective strategy. By the end of this video, you will know how to run Facebook ads with ease. You will be able to launch Facebook ads campaigns in just few minutes. So I suggest watching it several times. First, just watch it on your own terms and try to understand the big picture. Once you do that, then you watch it a second time to clarify things and to fill in the blanks. And now on the third try, I suggest following along as you set up new Facebook ads campaign and just pause on the places where you need to set up something. There are not so many details, but they are important. Make sure not to miss them because they can affect your results greatly. Before we open Facebook ads manager, let's figure out the structure. So there's Facebook user and there's business manager, ad account, campaign, ad set and ad. Now we'll be working on one ad account and we'll create uh, one campaign and inside we have multiple ad sets and ad. What's a campaign? You, you set your objective in ad set, you set all of your targeting. So it's country, age, interest, uh, scheduling, budget. And the ads are your actual creatives, images, videos, carousel ads and so on. What is CBO and what is ABO? CBO stands for campaign budget optimization. You set your budget at the campaign level and inside each campaign we have multiple ad sets. CBO, Facebook may choose only one or few uh, ad sets and spend all of the budget there. So it's not really optimal for testing, but when you're scaling or when your pixel has a lot of data, Facebook can help you. Now ABO, it stands for ad set budget optimization and we set budget for each ad set. We usually start testing with this. This strategy consists of four parts. First one is smart testing, where we test interests and ads. Second is optimizing. Then we add retargeting on our warm audiences. And number four is scaling. Okay, let's move to the first part, which is smart testing. It usually takes one, two weeks, but we keep doing that constantly after that. So the first thing we do is we go into the ad account and we hit create. Of course, you will have this uh, empty, but yeah, let's just continue. So we want sales, so we choose sales. And because Facebook is really good at delivering what we want. So if you would want leads or app promotion or engagement or traffic, it will deliver you just that but traffic is no good if you want sales so choosing sales and now i suggest well you probably if you're going to use drop shipping product i suggest using just one country uh, to focus because it's a facebook optimized per country so if you choose a lot of countries and if you don't know if, if the product is working well so you'll just uh, split your budget and uh, it will not be able to optimize or you will need to spend far more money on this so let's use us for this example and i recommend this geo because once you have that you can scale to other countries as well us test it's for organizational purposes because i will uh, be testing interests here so i'll cause i call this campaign test and i call this audiences and then i add the date which is may 16th which will be tomorrow um okay now in interest i go i dash uh the interest name and the date again uh once i have enough data and i do lookalikes i just go lookalike and then the enter the name or custom audience as well for now it will be interest now the ad itself it will most likely be video and i like to separate video image carousel and so on so video let's go um vl3 um and then 
there's the date. Just make it, uh, something really descriptive. For example, walk through. So you would know what is that. Uh, okay, we hit continue. As you can see, our new campaign is green created. Now, this is the campaign structure. Campaign, adds it, and add. So it's the name. We don't need to change category, auction, uh, objective good, not catalog. A B testing, let's leave that for later once we have our product working. Campaign budget activation as well. We start without it. Once we have something that works, we turn that on and we give freedom to Facebook to optimize. We hit next, it jumps to ad set. Now uh, we don't change the name as I entered it. We choose website if you don't have a pixel created, but as I have one, it's already there. Uh, connected with my Shopify store. So if you'll be using Shopify, just go and connect. It's pretty straightforward. You choose Facebook channel, then you connect everything and it will appear in here. Now you choose purchase event. Now for daily, I choose daily budget and $10 per ad set. I recommend that you can, you can try like $5, but that's bare minimum. I, I prefer going like a $10 uh, because the prices are higher these days. Now I usually start on the next day and on the 12.01 a.m. Because if you start like middle of the day or end of the day, uh, Facebook will just rush your spend and you will get like poor results, really expensive results. So I suggest for the optimal price, just go the next day in the midnight. If you're using 24 hours, just go 00 uh, uh, one Okay, now your country, we chosen US. So United States. Let's remove uh, this one. Uh, now, for age and gender, I highly recommend leaving as is, unless it's super specific product, like for example, dress for women. Again, men could buy dresses for a woman as well. So be cautious. Now, the interest, I have one already, smartwatch, and uh, I'll try to make a list of 20 interests and uh, once and I'll choose 10 that I want to use. So for example, I have Google Doc for that. And I started filling it out uh, like smartwatch, Apple watch, wearable fit. And I'll go uh, later and check those interests. You can also use suggestions, just hit suggestions. And as you can see, watch, wearable technology, online shopping, uh, sports tracker, fashion accessories. Yeah, these are all related and we'll try those as well. Okay, so I chose an audience. As you can see, it's 90 to 100 million, which is a lot. But once I testing, I also do that. I choose interest like from one to two million, from five to 10 million. I put everything in the mix just so Facebook has enough room to find me the right people. Now, others might say that ideal audience is like one or two million. Of course, I don't suggest going below 1 million because it's uh, really hard to scale this audience. It will burn fast. Now, the next, placements. I choose automatic, at least for testing for now. Optimization for conversions, if that's enabled for you. Uh, we don't change attribution uh, and these other options. Okay, we hit next and it's our video. As you can see, we already have the name. Um, you choose a page. If you have, uh, connect your Instagram account. So, uh, if you're testing like, if you're testing dropshipping store, I suggest creating like a general like a general store and then test several products. And once you have something working, just uh, uh, focus on that. For example, you try electronics and then you try smartwatch, you try uh, earbuds, you try uh, something else. And once you have the product that really works for you. You just uh, brand this uh, product. Okay, so we turn off this. It doesn't work. Uh, I select single image or video because for cold traffic, videos work the best. I have my uh, Shopify store connected, so it's the catalog. No more if you don't have that. 
Now, the most important part is the actual creative. So yeah, let's remove that and add videos. Okay, upload. So, okay, let's just choose this one. Now for primary text, headline and description, I'm going to be using the same thing um, I already created. Here we go. I added the link as you see in the post text. I also use this same link in the website URL section. Um, now we need a headline I've already. For headline, you use something you know eye-catching because people see your video, then they read the headline, what it's about. So, for example, if it's a smartwatch to monitor your health, so monitor your your health on the go, or a, a convenient way to monitor your health, or something something that really resonates with people. Um, okay, so let's put in the headline. Description is quite optional. I don't use that a lot, but. Uh, for example, smartwatch for health tracking. Now we leave that as is, but once we have the creatives that work, the videos, the images, we can add options and test all of these elements. You can see there are uh, a lot of options and it shows me learn more, have the link ready, languages, make sure to choose the domain that you'll be using. Uh, okay, everything seems to be ready. And if you want to track, add the URL parameters. For example, UTM source equals uh, Facebook and, uh, and uh, UTM campaign equals, and you can build the parameters. For example, um, campaign is campaign name. Oh, sorry, campaign name here, content for example, medium could be like uh, ad set name and uh, this could be ad name for example. And this app appends these to your link and if you're using like Google Analytics, it will show you uh, better attribution. Okay, so what I'll do next is I'm gonna uh, quickly duplicate those and I'll try to I aim to have five creatives ideally uh, like three different videos and two different images so let's let me quickly update this Okay, so we have everything ready. We have our five ads re uh, done. And uh, if you're wondering where I got the creatives for from, so there are a few ways to go around that. So first of all, you could go like uh, viral ecom ads. There is one decent one. You can buy packages of variations. That's what exactly I did. Three variations. There is also, sorry about that. There's also a band of ads. Band of ads, another one. Oops, sorry. Band of ads. So there's this one. Uh, for UGC, for UGC content, I use Billow app. You can get like UGC looking videos where people review your product. You can send them, send the product yourself or from Amazon. You can also order the product if you're in the US from you. From Amazon just they will ship it to you and you have a sample and you film the videos yourself and you just buy a service someone that could uh, render you a video um, you can go also to fiverr.com and search for Facebook ads yeah so I'm not logged in currently um, yeah, so you can find in here, you can even go to Upwork. So there's a lot of ways to go that. 
and for the images you can find them on alibaba.com or aliexpress just go smartwatch the one that i'm using uh it's uh is this one so yeah you can find images in here just browse you, you as you can see there are videos as well in here you can find pretty decent you, yeah for example you can scroll a bit and you find some decent images in here yeah so okay so we submit that so what i do is i firstly submit one campaign with one ad set and uh, all the ads you just go submit that ignore the errors there are just some warnings that delivery might, low, might be lower now once we have that i refresh the page and then i duplicate in the ad set section i duplicate my uh, ad set as i said nine times have 10 total interests so here's the dialog and i go one by one duplicating these and changing the name so okay so we have everything ready uh it's showing us that some changes are happening and we go and review that and we're done we're gonna leave that as is and we'll log in the next day once the campaign is launched open it at 8 a.m now go into the ad sets and pause three to four worst performing ad sets. From my experience, if ad set is performing poorly in the morning, it won't pick up and won't do better in the afternoon or the evening. So just pause it, but have, have in mind that you will need to restart it for the second day and for the third day. And if after three days it sucks, then you kill the ad set and move on. Then around 2 to 4 p.m., go to your ads manager again and pause the worst performing 2 to 4 ad sets and leave the remaining running. Let's say you're seeing high CPM. So this means this audience has high competition, but it also might be performing well. So I suggest pausing it for now, but have that in mind. Once you, once you have profitable campaigns, you can come back here with great ads and compete in there. If your click-through rate is low or CPCs are super high, then that means your ads are not really engaging. So it means you need to experiment with your ads or ads are not sticking to the audiences that you're testing. If you're seeing expensive page views or content views, it means your page is loading slow. So people click, but they did not wait until the page loads. Make sure you optimize your page to load faster. If you're seeing like your page views are okay, but you have basically no add to cart. So that could mean if the price is too high, the ATC button is unclear, or you are not presenting your product in a great way. Now, the last thing you see add to cart, you see initiate checkouts, but no purchase. So make sure you turn off expensive shipping. You have uh, payment processors ready. You can also offer people discounts because you already have their emails. Don't worry if first 100, 200 of spend on Facebook is performing really poorly. That should pick up once you have purchase data. Just be patient. Of course, you have to be optimizing constantly your ads, your ad sets, and your pages. Now it's day three and you have some results. What I do is open stats for all of these days and I see which one has had biggest return on ad spend. I leave these uh, running. If there was no purchases, I watch initiate checkouts or add to cart, which one had cheapest. If it didn't have any of those, then you see which cost per click was the cheapest. How do you optimize Facebook campaigns to ensure that the poor performing ad sets, ads and campaigns are not eating your budget? This is really important because small details can, you know, add up to high spend and no return. I start optimizing at the ad level. I open the ad set. I usually know my numbers. So if the click through rate is three times the normal or if add to, add to cart is five times normal or three times normal, then I wait for like half uh, of my average order value spend and I pause it. So if my average order value is 40, so I spend around 20. And if I see no purchases, I pause this ad. If your break-even cost is even higher, so you can pause even sooner. 
Okay, so it's day four. You cut the worst ad sets. And then you you see which one we're performing the best. You also do that the same with the ads. Usually there are one to two ads that we're doing the best. So I suggest leaving top two ads and creating 10 more ad sets uh, leaning to the interest that we're working the best. Now you create that, you schedule at midnight again, and you run that for three more days. Now, if you ran out of interest ideas, just, just duplicate your winning ad set and go to ad set, edit, and in the interest, see the suggestions. Often Facebook suggests really great interest. And once again, you create one per ad set. So here you have many new interests. Let's go to step three. You have been running your ads for around a week. So there are some people who already saw your videos, who engaged, liked, commented, who visited your website, uh, but did not make a purchase. So you want to create a custom audiences and retarget them because they are warm audiences. Okay, so let's create a retargeting campaigns. First of all, open your usual window where you, where you see your ad account. Um, then you open all tools scroll down and find audiences click this link um, yeah it opens you this window and now go ahead create audience and create custom audience okay so i like to start with a facebook page and then i choose my page everyone who engaged with your page is the easiest default later on you can uh, play around with more of these as you see something works, you want to test e each of these audiences uh, separately. So let's go five days because people just engage with uh, probably one of your posts. So they're not super, uh, they don't know you well, don't remember you well. So you want to retarget them. These are just barely warm people. So you want to retarget them fast enough. Uh, okay, FG, FB engagers or FB page engagers, how you want it. Uh, and then three days, uh, sorry, five days, create audience, okay, done. Now create custom Instagram account. Again, if, if you, uh, if you connected your Instagram account for your brand, then do, uh, then choose it. Everyone who engaged five days again, um, IG engagers. Uh, five days um, yeah so that's done another one you can create is video views because we are doing videos again I call it BV for video views and uh, let's say 25% and five days now everyone who watched at least 25% of your video then you choose your actual videos. You probably want to choose all that you used. Confirm and create audience. Okay. Of course, later on you can uh, test people who watched uh, 50% 50, uh, 50 or more of your video, 75 and 95% of your video. And the last thing I do is I go to create my um, all page visitors or website visitors so it's people who visited my website and I choose a bigger window because there are less people in here and if they visited they had higher intention and they might remember us for a longer period so, so I would do five or even ten days so let's say ten days and uh, we can call this uh, website visitors or I sometimes call uh, page views it doesn't matter or VV for website visitors and then do 10 days okay so we have these four audiences ready uh, now let's go back to Facebook Ads Manager hit create campaign again sales is our objective create uh, a name so again I'm using US so I'm gonna call this US US retarget just for organizational purposes this one will be CBO 
And again, I will add my date when I'm launching it. Today is the 17th, so I'm, I'm gonna do on the 18th. Now, on the retargeting, I use uh, C for custom audience, and then uh, I add the name, for example. I usually combine Facebook and Instagram engagers into one. You can separate those. So FB engagers, uh, five days, and again, the date. And there I will add my top converting ads that I know previously. So for example, video, um, VSL, VL3, 0515. I can actually, I will actually duplicate this ad. So I can probably skip this one for now. So, okay. So here we go, we turn on CBO. So if you're spending like $100 a day, just take your average of last few days. Let's say you're spending $100 a day. So I would recommend setting this at around 20%. So let's say we're spending 100 a day. So I'm gonna allocate $20 per day on retargeting. Um, yeah, highest volume or value, continue. And here we choose our event. Again, purchase event. You should have everything, again, scheduling the next day. Uh, 00 or 12.01 a.m., not p.m. Just be careful with that. Um, for audiences, I would, I would go and choose okay. all countries because um, these are warm people. And now you go not into detail targeting, but into custom audiences and you select one of one of the ones that we created. So Facebook and Instagram engagers, we add those here. And now we go and duplicate. So we go and you select uh, the audiences, the top ads that were working for us. So it, 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 was, the, it was these two, existing, retargeting, existing ad set, and hit duplicate. Okay, we're ready to publish. As these ads are already created, I go ahead and uh, hit duplicate this. Let's see, I have this, I'll need this and this. So in total, I'll need three ad sets. So I'll duplicate two times. Okay, so I have my two copies in here. Let's just select one. We'll rename this one into video viewers, 25% and five days. Don't forget to change the scheduling and everything is selected for us. Now we just select uh, this one in here. And the last one select this one uh, okay website visitors 10 days and we choose here website visitors 10 days okay we're good to go so let's close that off check everything everything seems smooth sometimes I like to remove these uh, copy names so I just go edit find and replace Copy this, paste in here, and it keeps everything clean. Just go ahead, ignore the errors. This is just uh, saying it won't deliver on the, some placements. Hit publish, and it's good. We're done with the retargeting campaigns. Okay, so you have the ad sets that are working extremely well for you and you want to scale them naturally. So this is my uh, testing campaign, testing audiences campaign. So I want to scale these two ad sets that are doing extremely well. My break even ROAS is 1.5 and these are doing 3x ROAS, uh, done a lot of sales. So you'll have uh, like lower stats, but it doesn't matter. Um, so let's go and duplicate them. So one method is to go and duplicate them create new campaign and these are US so again I go US 
um, often go, for example, name, healthcare, uh, and lookalike. You can uh, look alike 1% purchasers, and you add CBO, and I add the date today 17. So I'm gonna go for 18. Okay, you go duplicate. Okay, so it has everything selected. Uh, I go select the date 1201. 12.01 a.m. Then I go to the actual campaign and turn on the CBO. Uh, now, I ha as I have my working ad sets, I want to allow Facebook to optimize itself. So it would choose between these two um, ad sets. So if, if my initial budget was uh, $10 per ad set, and, I, and now I have two working ad sets, I would go 20 but I will duplicate these uh, three times. So I'll have six ad sets inside my CBO campaign and I'll set the budget to $60. So I'll set that to 60. Then as I mentioned, I'll go and choose the date. Again, the audiences are selected, everything is there. I set the start date, the start date. Uh, I update this. Um, yeah, so now I have two ad sets and I just go and duplicate them twice. Yeah, you can leave copy or write just um, dash one, for example, dash one, so you can compare later in the statistics. And dash two, and dash two. So you go ahead and you submit this. Uh, you go ahead and you submit this campaign. Another method for scaling uh, my test audiences is again going and selecting my top performing ad sets, hit duplicate uh, existing campaign, and this is a bit messy, but uh, I duplicate inside the, the existing testing audiences campaign, and I hope and I go and duplicate it. Now it creates duplicates inside this campaign. Again, I change the date to next day, 1201, 1201 AM. Now, and if I had like initial $10 per ad set budget, so I would set this to $20 a day. So I, I will have my um, initial ad sets that are $10 a day and I will have my new copy ad sets and I call them 2x, which I'll set at $20 a day. So the, these are two ways of scaling your campaigns. And again, you let them run for three days, uh, watching them each day. And if it doesn't work, you just pause the first day, restart, and then you pause the second day and the third day if it doesn't work. Hopefully it works and you have higher spend and you're more profitable. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really tried to think like someone who's just starting out with Facebook ads and I've did my best to explain everything that uh, all the terms and everything. I, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. So let me know how it went for me. And if you do have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it uh, shortly and uh, as detailed as possible.